everyone, this is Chris from Chris Trains with tutorial number two for the 186 engine. And this is just covering some of the basics around the high voltage system in this engine. When you start the engine in a scenario um, or a quick start, typically the engine will be powered up, pantographs will be up, and the high voltage system will be connected. These two switches over here are used to disconnect the high voltage and to take the pantographs down and you need to use these if you want to change the voltage selection. So we turn the high voltage off and drop the pantograph. <coughs> and now we can use this touch screen to change voltages. In reality it's not a touch screen but for the sake of making it easier to use in the game um, and due to some of the limitations um, I've made it a touch screen. So you touch this button down here under where it says system or system and then you can choose your voltage here. So if I choose NL25 kilovolt and then hit E for enter, you can see this symbol down here changed to show you the new voltage. I press system again to exit. Now if I put the pantographs up, you'll see it's raising the high voltage, the 25 kilovolt pantograph at the front, and then I can reconnect the high voltage supply inside the engine, the Snell's Fackler. Okay, and we're ready to drive. Um, this action can be done while you're moving. Um, it's often required in the real world if they're changing voltages on different parts of different lines, for example, changing countries, or on the high speed line in the Holland where they swap backwards and forwards from uh, 1.5 kilovolts to 25 kilovolts and back. It makes no real difference to how the engine actually performs. This is just a cosmetic simulation for people that want to change voltages and want to see the correct pantograph on the outside of the engine. Um, but I included it anyway. Now, also on the touch screen, we have two safety systems that are available in this model. The first one is ATB. And this is the ATB first generation. This is the um, original safety system um, that most, or in fact all, engines in Holland have. It's based on showing you the next highest speed limit available. So these lights down here, 6, 8, 13 and 14, will show you the next highest speed limit available. That doesn't mean it's the actual speed limit. It could show you a um, an 8 uh, symbol and the speed limit could be 70. So it's up to you as the driver to watch the speed limit signs either in the HUD or on the side of the track to know um, what the upcoming speed limit is. Any of you that have driven my old trains, uh, my other trains with the ATB system, this functions exactly the same. <clears throat> the other system we have in here is ETCS. Within the limits of the game, this is an ETS um, emulation of the software version 7 that's found in the tracks engine. It's quite an advanced system. There'll be a separate tutorial on this. Um, I think tutorial number three will be on the ETCS system. And the final system in here is the uh, the final safety system is the dead man's pedal. You can see here this little icon currently says that it's turned off. If I do shift and keypad enter, it turns the safety system on. And it's a 30 second dead man's timer. It operates all the time that the engine is in forward position. So currently with the reverser in neutral it's not actually uh, counting up but as soon as I put it into the forward position the dead man's handle is now active. The keyboard uh, numpad enter is the shortcut for clearing the dead man's alarm or you can use these black buttons on either side of the cab over here and over here. Um, essentially this is the same sort of dead man system you'll find on my other engines after 30 seconds you'll get a light and a tone that tells you that the dead man system is about to activate and you have to either cancel it or let it activate and then it'll pull on an emergency brake. So I just press the uh, shortcut to cancel it and now it starts another 30 second timer. So that concludes that tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial will be about driving with ETCS emulation.